For you guys who watched our last video, you may have seen that we used our old chicken tractor that we used for our Cornish cross chickens when we first started raising our own meat. We tried to use it and attach it to our chicken coop so that they kind of had a covered chicken run this winter because we just had a really, really bad snowstorm and it was super cold. I believe it got to about negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit with the wind chill. So we tried using this, covering it up, thinking that that was gonna be our solution because our chickens, they have a very open run. So if you could see all the way from behind that hoop coop, if you follow me all the way to about where you see the wood right here, that's our compost bin. They have a huge open chicken run here. Although we love that they have this much space to play in, be in, search for bugs, roam around, get fresh grass, that was definitely our goal that we wanted for them. During the winter time, when snow starts to fall here in Michigan and it gets super cold, I don't blame them, but the chickens are not leaving this coop here when it gets super, super cold and the snow is covering the ground. And that's not good. They're not used to that. They want to roam around a little bit more, have a little extra space. And if they can't do it because the ground is covered, and then we need, as their chicken owners, to be able to give them a better spot. So today we are getting rid of this because they really haven't went under this like I thought they were going to that much. And then we are gonna take this hoop coop, and this was our original plan this winter, and we are gonna attach it to our coop over there. And we're gonna get that done early this morning right now because we have the chickens locked up so that when we're moving this hoop coop, they're not freaking out as they roll it over there and try to put it up against the coop. I think this is what they'll need. They won't need it today. Today's actually pretty warm, no snow on the ground nice and wet, which the chickens love so that they can scratch around and peck at the grass. I don't think it's a big deal for today, but we are gonna have more snowy days coming. It just started to be January here, so we have about three more months of cold weather. Let's start by getting rid of this. Man, I always had stories about the city line. And the crazy nights I figure I should probably give it a try Baby, check it out, see what it's all about But the traffic was fast and the money was slow The people I know never get to know The kind of place I used to live back home Cause up here it's bread All right, we have the coop attached to our hoop coop here. And as you can see, might have to go to the other side of this fence here. But this is gonna give them a lot more space this winter. So now what I gotta do is I'm gonna cut a hole in there where the automatic chicken coop door is so that when it opens up in the morning, they would start in the hoop coop. I cut a hole down there so that they can come out of the hoop coop. So if there was weather like today, I think this here is gonna help them a lot when the weather starts to get really cold. And I am excited for them. I'm excited that they're gonna have some other spot to go and more room because during those two, three days when it was super cold, like I said, there was probably like two of them that made it outside the coop that whole time. I just got done cutting a hole so that the automatic chicken coop door, when it opens up in the morning, they'll be able to go right into this hoop coop here. Since it's not really too cold right now, I'm not gonna throw any fresh straw inside it, but I will do that when it comes time, when it gets really cold for them. But right now it's not too big of a worry, but I'm happy that this is finally all together. I'm hoping this will benefit them tremendously. The one thing I am gonna have to do this thing is that instead of using these tarps that I have on right now, I'm gonna get clear plastic wrapping to put around it so that more sunlight gets into it. That's the only major thing I'm gonna have to change about it, but I am happy with how this is looking right now. All right guys, I think we've been having this problem way too often, but for having an automatic chicken coop door, we have been coming out here the last few nights, having to check and make sure that no chickens are sleeping outside our coop. For some reason, we had one even when the door was open till about seven o'clock at night, which is about an hour and a half after it gets dark, it still chose to sleep outside. And then came last night. Last night we got home, we were celebrating some family time, and when we got back, all 15 chickens were outside of the coop. And it was about 8 p.m. at night. And as I walked around, I noticed that the chicken coop door was closed. So it must have closed really early on them for some reason, and no chickens were able to get inside the coop. So I spent about 30 minutes last night grabbing some of the chickens, putting them in the coop, getting the other ones to follow a light to get inside the coop, and that made me realize 
I think I have my setting wrong on our coop door here. And I figured out the problem. The coop door was set as it thought the time was 11.30 right now, but it's actually 10.30. So it was an hour ahead. So that means the chickens were coming out an hour earlier than they were supposed to. And the door was closing an hour earlier than it was supposed to. That makes sense. That means the door closed at like 4.40 and they probably start going to bed about close to that time. But it must have closed on all of them and... Sorry guys, that was my bad. I do wonder how they're gonna do. I'm gonna keep this big door closed. So that means they're gonna have to go in through the hoop coop to access that automatic chicken coop doors, unfortunately. And I have to make sure that door is gonna close right, which it should this time. I'm gonna have to come out here tonight and check on them. But if this all flows the way it's supposed to now and it starts working the next few nights, that means these chickens are gonna be very comfortable this winter. Sonny, what are you doing? Did I scare you? What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> all right, Caesar, keep the ladies happy. You're upset, huh? We're moving all your stuff. You're gonna follow me? You're just trying to protect your ladies. I get it. The chickens are very happy. All the straw that we had inside the hoop coop is now just all here on the ground. So now they're gonna probably scratch around and play all day. Well, that was weird. We haven't had any chickens break out of this chicken run in about probably three to four months. But of all the chickens to do it, it doesn't surprise me that Sunny was the one. Hi, Sunny. She was just by my feet, but she got tired of getting me picking her up. She is definitely one of our problem chickens that will try to break out of here and will lay eggs in different spots than she's supposed to. All right, so now what I gotta do is I'm gonna have to close this chicken coop door here. I've left the big door open so that allow them to try to see that automatic chicken coop door and walk in and out of it from the hoop coop to our main coop, just so they can get used for walking through it. But now I'm gonna have to close this door because we're not gonna have this open all the time, especially during the cold weather. And they're gonna have to travel at the start of the hoop coop through the little opening, walk through it, go up the ramp, through the automatic chicken coop door and then into their main coop. With how these chickens have been sleeping lately and deciding on their own to sleep outside the coop, I'm guessing we're gonna have a fun night. I'm hoping not, I'm hoping it works well. But I think I know what the answer is gonna be and it's gonna be complicated tonight. Crossing my fingers that the chickens make their way through this little maze now that they're gonna have and go to sleep in here. This is gonna be a great idea though to do this little hoop coop attached run here. For anyone that has a big open run like we do and you don't really have anything that covers them up, now the chickens are just gonna have a lot more space. It depends on how many chickens you have. If we had four or five chickens inside that coop, I wouldn't go out of my way to make a run like this. But since we have 15 chickens, Caesar, what do you want? Since we have 15 chickens here, I am thinking that this is the best idea. They're gonna need more room than just inside that coop, especially on these really cold days where they don't leave the coop. All right, I'm back out here. Our coop door is about to close in about 10 minutes. And as you can see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, I don't know, maybe about half the chickens. And then I still don't know how many are actually inside the coop. I think there's quite a few of them possibly underneath the coop. So let's see how these chickens are doing. How many are in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, seven of you guys. That means you guys have to figure it out. Let's go. Come on. There you go. You go in here. Go in there. Come on, guys. Come on. No, no. Rosie, you're the last one, I think. Come on. Time to recount. Hopefully there's 15. 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, 15 guys. That was fun. Well, all right, well that does it. I'm excited about how the coop looks. Well, I don't know about looks, but I'm excited for how the coop is. And I think it's gonna help them out tremendously during the winter time. If you have an open run, you should think about trying to do something like this, especially if you have a lot of chickens or more chickens that 
should be actively moving inside your coop. But chickens are finally tucked in after trying to chase them around and play a little bit of chicken roundup, a little rodeo here. You guys have a great day and a better tomorrow, and we'll see you in the next one.